shooters and reloaders out there. Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And you know that I've got about three videos out about Glocks. And the fans of Glocks think I'm bashing Glocks when I talk about Glocks in my videos. But I'm not bashing Glocks at all because I happen to own four of them. Why would I bash Glocks if I own four of them? They happen to be very good pistols. Very important developments in firearms are the Glocks. Well, if you've watched some of my videos, you'll see that one of my main concerns is the fact that it's commonly accepted that Glocks have polygonal rifling. Well, I submit that Glocks have Glock rifling. But they really don't have polygonal rifling. I don't know where that came from. The factory says that Glocks have polygonal rifling. The Glocks have even said that Glocks have female polygonal rifling. You know, the factories also tell Glock owners not to shoot reloads in their Glock factory barrels. And a lot of people shoot reloads in their Glock factory barrels. So they don't listen to the factory at all. So why do they listen to the factory? when the factory tells them that it's polygonal rifling in the barrels. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Because if you look down that Glock barrel, that's a Glock factory barrel right there. I don't see a polygon in there. I see a round barrel. I see rifling. That rifling is all rounded off, but there's rifling in there. And the barrel's round. If you shoot a bullet out of a Glock, the bullet looks like this. And it'll have rifling on there. But it's round. Now a true polygonal barrel, when you shoot a bullet, the bullet looks like this. And it's not the rifling that's going around, but these corners are going around the bullet. Going around a little pattern but it's polygonal. This is what polygonal means. A many-sided figure. So if you look on a polygonal barrel and you see this, it's a polygonal rifling. Because a rifling is this, these things. But you don't see this in a Glock barrel. You see a round barrel that has rifling in it. Look at this barrel. This, now this barrel is an aftermarket barrel. You see the rifling? It's a round barrel. Now look at the Glock again. You see it's a round barrel and you see rifling in there. It's not really polygonal. Just because they pound this onto a mandrel so it's easier to manufacture, they're calling it polygonal? You cannot construe polygonal out of what's in there. You cannot explain how that can be polygonal. You can't imagine how that polygonal turns into a round barrel. Well, some of you are going to say, well, the barrel on the right has cut rifling and the barrel on the left has polygonal rifling. Well, there's no difference. They both have rifling. The barrel on the left has a rifling that happens to be all rounded off. The barrel on the right has rifling, happens to have sharp corners, but they both have rifling. Neither one are polygonal. Now there was a gun back in the 70s or so, 70s, uh, maybe the early 80s, uh, called a VP70 or something like that, where the bullets actually did look like this when you, when you fired them, because it was true polygonal rifling. This is not what you see in modern Glocks. Now again, I'm not bashing the Glock because it's a fine pistol, but it's not polygonal rifling. And why we have to insist that it is, it's kind of bewildering. The rifling works and it might be easier to clean, it might foul less, but it's not polygonal. I'd like to call it Glock rifling. What's wrong with that? Glock should have just called it. We have Glock rifling. Now in some of my other videos, I've mentioned a lot about the chambers of Glocks being where the problems are because the Glock chambers are oversized 
and they're heavily throated so that they have more unsupported brass, this kind of thing. And I get comments coming back that says, well, the 9mm is not as bad. Well, that might be so, but look at this. What you see here is a Glock factory barrel on the left and a Glock replacement barrel on the right. The replacement barrel has a norm normal size chamber. Can you see with your visual eye that the Glock factory barrel has a bigger chamber? It's unmistakable. When you have a bigger chamber, it means that you'll get better reliability, better functioning because the rounds will go in easier. A factory round that fits the right hand chamber will easily go into the left hand chamber. And it'll go into the left hand chamber better than the right hand chamber because the left hand chamber is bigger. It is definitely bigger. Now when I use my micrometer and I measure the Glock factory barrel is four thousandths bigger than the replacement barrel, which is the standard chamber. So no wonder you can see the difference. Easily seen. Well, of course, we like that reliability. And it's great with factory ammo because you got factory fresh, new, strong brass. But if you use reloaded brass, you might have a problem with tired brass having problems in a bigger chamber, being fired in a bigger chamber again. Okay, so what I have here is three rounds of brass that was fired in a Glock and then reloaded. So now you'll see that they fit readily into the Glock factory barrel. like so, but these same rounds will not go into the replacement barrel because the replacement barrel is a standard chamber. In fact, they get stuck in there. You see? Because this brass was fired in a Glock the Glock factory chamber, so it got blown out and then the resizing die didn't quite bring that back to the previous dimension to allow it to go into the standard chamber. Now if I use this in a Lee factory crimp die, it'll restore that so it'll feed into the standard chamber. But that just shows you again how the Glock factory chamber is bigger than a standard chamber. So I point out these differences and I'm bashing Glocks. Well, not, no, again, I'm not bashing the Glocks. I'm just pointing out what the engineering was done to make the Glock that successful pistol that it is, but it doesn't work as well for reloaders. Well, maybe the newer Glocks are starting to get better in regards to that chamber size, but the older ones, which is what this one is, have the bigger chambers and there are some problems with that. Still like my Glocks, so I'm not bashing them at all. So uh, shooters and reloaders out there, just take care. See you in the next video.